Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I managed to make it through the day. It was one of those crazy heck days where like everything is going on. So I made it. Survived. Yes. All right. So I showed you guys the nasty wound like on my arm last night with how I was able to do like the fake scarring with like the open stuff all coming out of it. It's totally gross, right? Yeah, I know. Um, but I wanted to show you guys how to do that on your face. And this is one of those kind of looks where if you don't get a Halloween costume and you need something really fast and you're like, oh God, Halloween's tomorrow and I don't have an outfit, this would totally work for you. You could pull off the car wreck victim, you know, or like, you know, maybe it was a bad date night. You went on a date with this guy you thought would be a great guy and he turns out to be a serial killer and you're just like running through the woods and stuff trying to get away from him after he slashes your face open. I don't know. Like what? You, you can come up with story. Hey, Kristen. So I wanted to show you guys how to do this tutorial though so that anybody can break this down. All right. Before I get started, I want to show you what things you're going to need to make this happen. Okay. With any type of wound, there are so many different ways you can do them. Some people use a, just no lie, a glue stick. I was gonna show you guys how to do this with a glue stick. I was super excited about it. And then I pulled out the glue sticks that I just bought to open them up and find out that they're purple. I was like, this is not gonna work. What, baby? Can I, can I put a little bird jacket? Sure. Yeah. yeah. So, Anyway, you can use a glue stick. All you do is like take the glue stick, cut a little chunk this, off with a butter knife. This what? What, baby? Uh, I made with scissors this a circle. It's beautiful. It's a little jagged to be a circle, but good job. Right here. Thank you. Close that door back. All right. Sorry about that, you guys. Um. So, back to the tutorial. All right. There's other ways that you can do this though. Like if you don't have a glue stick. Like, okay, let me tell you about the glue stick first. You take the glue stick, you cut a little piece off, and like you smush it all up, like as much as you can. Then you have wax, okay? You can do that, or you can take toilet paper. I know you're like, what? Just check started about putting toilet paper on your face? Yes, I am. I am probably gonna show you guys how to do that one in a separate tutorial just because it's super easy and like anybody can do it. It uses just glue, like Elmer's washable glue and toilet paper. So there's that option. Today, what I'm gonna show you guys though is how to use a Halloween kit. This is that same kit I bought for 10 bucks. I'm gonna use it probably like for 17 different looks this year and then like I'll probably have some left over for next. But inside of this kit, comes some wax like it was up here in the this corner right here where it's all ripped open so I'm going to show you guys how to use a kit you can buy this kit for like 10 bucks I got this one from Target they have them at Walmart I think online they've got them like you can buy wax on eBay if you want to but I'm going to use wax I was going to use glue just to show you guys how easy it was to use it but I got super disappointed when my glue turned out to be purple like who does that why is it purple? I don't know. So upset about that. But anyways, yeah, because I was going to do that last night. And then Josh was like, why is the glue purple? I'm like, I don't know. These people, they're messing up my game. Anyway, so the next thing you're going to need is a knife because every good Halloween look requires a knife. I'm just kidding. Um, you don't want a sharp knife. You want to use a butter knife because you're going to be like pushing it against your face. Okay. Um, this is going to be used to like smear it into your skin. So make sure it's not a sharp knife. We're not trying to get you cut, okay? Like, we're not going to the ghetto today, okay? Like, we're trying to keep it clean. This is just for looks. Okay, so you're gonna need a knife. Something else you're gonna need is either Vaseline, petroleum jelly, as my grandma used to call it, or some of this stuff. If you have a tattoo, I'm sure you probably own some of this stuff. I became addicted to this stuff after I had my first tattoo because it is awesome. This is just basically like, sure, come on. This is pretty much just like Vaseline, um, but you want to use this to help your knife. Yes. No. So you're going to use this to help your knife and your um, tool to. Okay. Close the door. I had to bribe her. 
to bribe her with a cupcake. I'm like, if you just let mama get to this tutorial without coming in there and like tearing up the place, I will give you a cupcake, girl. Yeah. Anyway, so this stuff will actually keep your tools from like getting stuck and like it, if you've ever tried to work with wax before, you'll notice like it uh, just, it's really, really tacky. And so it keeps you from having to worry about it messing up. Yeah. So that's all you really need. Um, as far as tool wise, I have these. You can use a butter knife to like adjust it and use your fingers to mold it or whatever. I have this from like I seriously I used to have an eBay addiction until I became poor. And on eBay they had like this nail kit set for like 99 cents plus like two dollars of shipping, so it was like three bucks total. And so I bought it and I've never used it, and so I'm gonna probably use it. All right, and then you're gonna need eyeshadow and lipstick, okay? And the eyeshadow, I'm actually gonna probably be using that kit that I've been using, the one that's got all the different colors in it. Um, or you could use this face paint because it has all the different colors in it. You're gonna need purple, brown, red, and black. Those are your four colors that are gonna be your friend. And to make the look complete, there is some vampire blood in here. I'm going to use some of the blood. I'm not going to use the kind that I used last night because that crap was not washable. And y'all, it's still, I don't know if you can see it or not, it's still in my hand. That's like after scrubbing 17 times. So yeah, keep that in mind if you're using fake blood. It is not usually washable. They do have washable blood tutorials on YouTube that you can make at home using like corn syrup and like cocoa powder. I, I don't have time for that. But that's just, you know, some tips. Okay, so let's get started, guys. All right, so first thing you wanna do is make sure you don't have any hair touching your face because it will get stuck in the wax and that is not any fun. So we're gonna bobby pin that bad boy up. All right, so. I'm gonna do it. I at least gotta make it look somewhat kind of cute. All right, so once you get your hair out of the way, you wanna make sure, dad gum it. You know, whenever you just like, you just want it to go smoothly and it's just not gonna go smoothly. It just doesn't wanna work with you. Okay, so I really recommend cleaning the area that you're gonna do the wound, okay? Because the wax will stick better to your skin in that place if you clean it. The best possible thing you can do is take rubbing alcohol and then a cleaning cloth and just clean the area that you're gonna do it. Um, yeah, and I don't have either of those right here, so we're just gonna use this glove right here that I use to like straighten my hair sometimes and I'm just gonna like, okay. That looks good, we're good with that. Okay, but you guys get the drift, like make sure you do that on your own. Now, again, I'm gonna be using this little makeup wax stuff. This stuff is super tacky, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna tell you to do is to take your petroleum jelly, Vaseline, or this stuff, which is what I have on hand. I just broke the top. Um, you wanna get a little bit, in fact, I'm gonna actually put some like on my on my hand right there just so I have it so I can, I can dab it if I need to, because you never know when you're gonna need to dab it. Dab it real good. All right, so first thing you wanna do is take a little bit on your fingers, just because if you don't, like your hands will stick to this wax and it'll be like, I'm telling you, it will suck because it does not come off easy. All right, so now you're gonna take your butter knife to dig this stuff out. I'm using the um, skin color kind. I'm not using the black one because I'm not black and because, well, that would be kind of hard to conceal and it wouldn't look very natural. This stuff is like ear waxy. I like it. All right, so once you get it, in your hand. It looks like a big fat wad of earwax. It's totally gross, but in like a good way. So you're gonna roll it between your fingers. You're gonna make it look like a worm. The worm. I'm gonna get a little bit more because I want it to be a really big gruesome one. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I hope you guys are excited. I am. Okay, so this is kind of what it looks like. You know, like I took some earwax that would take like three years to accumulate and like rolled it all up, okay? So that's what it looks like. Now, you're gonna put this straight on your face after you clean that spot, all right? So I'm just gonna lay it on there, just like that, okay? Don't freak out on me, it's gonna be okay. Now, 
You want to take your butter knife. Make sure it's clean. Ah, that hurt. Just peel my fingernail back. No, that hurt. Okay. So you're going to take your butter knife. You want to make sure it's kind of clean. You want to use a little bit of your petroleum jelly. And just kind of clean your knife with it. To help it not stick. And then you're going to spread it into your skin. Okay? I'm going to try to get close so you guys can see. But like the mirror is... This is kind of hard to do. Uh, can you see? Can you see right there? Okay. All right. So you're just gonna like take the sides and just push down into your skin, just like that. And because I did not clean my face properly, it's probably not gonna stick as good as it could. But that's okay. We're still gonna make it work. Cause you guys are gonna get the drift. I actually ordered some a whole container of face wax. And it was supposed to be in like yesterday and it hasn't come in yet. So I was going to use it instead of this stuff. All right. So as you can see, like I got the bottom kind of blended. You want to do the same thing to the top. And this stuff is super easy to work with. Not kidding you when I tell you like anybody could do it. Like your 10 year old kid could do this. It's not difficult. All right, as you can see. All right, and so once you kind of have it attached to your skin, then you're gonna come back with your fingers and you're just gonna kind of rub the edges of it because you don't want it to, you want it to like really blend into your skin. You don't want it to be super obvious that it's there. But don't push down too hard on the center part because that's what's gonna give it that deep, real 3D look. So keep that in mind too. And again, you can put um, a little bit of Vaseline on your fingers to help you from sticking to it. So I had like a big piece come down. That's fine. That'd actually like just make it look a little bit more gooey and gory. All right. So once you have it like blended into your skin, as you can see, that's whenever you're going to take some makeup and you're going to like fix it up a little bit. Okay. You're going to make it blend. But first we're going to cut the, where the cut's going to actually be. Again, you could use your butter knife. I'm going to use this little tool right here. Again, I'm going to take my petroleum jelly and I'm just going to put a little bit on the edge of it so that it doesn't stick to the wax. And I'm just going to dig into it, okay? So you want to go down the deepest part and just dig a like straight through it. And again, I'm going to keep dipping it in that Vaseline stuff because I don't want it to stick. And as you can see, like it pulls on it as it comes out. So that's why this Vaseline is super important. I don't know what kind of household doesn't have Vaseline, but I'm one of them. Thankfully though, I do have that tattoo stuff. All right, so when you get to the edge, don't pull it exactly all the way out. So now I want you to just kind of go in there and just push up on it a little bit on the side, on the inside of it, just push up a little. Oh, don't stick. Okay. And if y'all have questions, please feel free to ask. And you want to pull down on both sides, not just the top. I hope I haven't missed any questions so far. This is probably one of my favorite times of the year just because you get to have so much fun with these different looks. I knew that was going to happen. Um, it was really funny because like yesterday I went to the dentist and Kylie had her first dentist appointment. And um, my dentist was like, yeah, I've seen a bunch of pink hair going around for breast cancer and, you know, different reasons. And he's like, but he said, they all look really silly. He's like, but I like yours. Like, Thanks, buddy. Appreciate that. 
All right, so as you can see, I have the hole there. Now it's time to apply the makeup because you want it to be concealed to your skin. All right, so we're going to, so I'm just, my hands are so like sticky feeling from like Vaseline, okay. All right, so we're gonna take some flesh colored makeup. I'm gonna use my Unique, make it happen. Once you apply some foundation to it to make it match, and you don't have to hit the inside because you're going to color the inside anyway, but once you hit your foundation, I really recommend putting like a setting powder. Um, in fact, I think I'm going to put some setting powder before I do that. That way it all sticks really well. Don't do that. Alright, so this is the unique setting powder. It's my fave. It keeps me from looking all oily during the day. It's good stuff. I hear my honey in there. You done got home from up. All right, so you just kind of want to put that all around so that your, so that it won't be like that Vaseline stuff won't stick to your foundation. And trust me, this could have been done in a regular video and I could have sped through it using like a video app, but I wanted to spend time with you guys. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the foundation over the top of it. And I've used way too much. Way too much. Sorry about that, guys. That one little piece is not one to work with me, and it makes me sad. Okay. And I will do, because I know that the lighting in here is not as good, so I will do an after picture um, in like different lighting so that you guys can see with natural light. All right, so once you have your foundation around it, as you can see, it already kind of looks a little nasty, but it just looks like deformed face is falling apart. There's no coloration. So we're gonna add the color to it. This is the fun part. This is where you get to really personalize it and make it your own. Um, so I told you guys I bought these um, this off of eBay for like 99 cents. This is why um, it was 99 cents. Yeah. So they're supposed to be nail supplies, but it's totally good. All right. So first thing we're gonna do, I think I am gonna actually use the the face paintness in here just so I can show you guys if you buy it how to use it. I'm making a lot of noise. I'm really sorry. Dropping stuff everywhere. Okay. Alrighty, back. Okay, so this little face kit, it's got um purple, brown, black, and red, which are the three, the four colors that we're gonna use. I can't count, obviously. Um, so I'm gonna actually start with we're gonna start with black, okay? So that's what we're gonna start with. And so you're just gonna get some black, and you could use eyeliner for this too if you wanted to. This is totally like whatever you'd want to do. Now at first, I'm using a very, very tiny brush. The reason I'm doing that is because I'm going to be going on the inside and I'm going to be doing as far close to the, like where it's opened up as possible. There is not a wrong way to do this. Like you just do it how you feel like it looks as you go. This face paint is um, not wanting to work with me. And I know normally I tell you guys to use face primer before you do makeup looks. This is not one of those times. Do not use primer whenever you go to use adhesives because it will not stick as well and it will not last as long. All right, so as you can see, like I've got it outlined on both top and bottom on the inside with black. The next thing you're going to do is grab some red. So I'm just going to like pull off what I did. 
Hey, Jaden, how you doing, buddy? So y'all, let me tell y'all, I got this little friend. He's like halfway across the world, but um, I love my little friend. He loves watching my videos with his mommy, and it makes me happy. All right, so we're gonna take some of the red, and we're gonna just fill in the rest of the inside of it, okay? And you can use red lipstick for this. You can use a lip liner. You do not have to just use face paint or um, eyeshadow. Like it, the sky is the limit. Make it work with whatever you have. If you don't have it, at, if you have something that will work at home, do that instead of going out and buying. All right, so that's what it looks like now. All right, next, I'm gonna actually put a little bit more red in there. And the darker the inside of it looks, the more realistic it's gonna be. So don't be afraid to use black. And I'm, I don't know if you can see this, but I'm actually pulling up on the edges with the red. And do the same thing to this side, which this side's not as connected as well. But we're gonna make it work. How's it looking so far, guys? So far, so good? God. All right, now, once you have the inside colored, now you're gonna work on the coloring for the outside. Like with any wound, you're going to want, and I know you guys can kind of see some of where the edges are where I didn't smooth them down a good. Okay, so let me tell you this. If you clean your face like you're supposed to and you smooth it into your skin, it will stick a lot better than it did to mine. I didn't clean it with alcohol like I should have and that's why it didn't do as good. But you won't be able to tell that once you get the outside coloring on. Now, this is where your browns are gonna come into play. You can use a sponge if you want to. Um, I may just try to use the sponge just to see how it looks, but I usually would just use my finger. So we're gonna dip into some brown. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna use the sponge. And you're gonna basically go all around it, but you don't want it to be perfect, like just dib dab around, all right? Yeah, I'm not digging um, the brown, or the sponge. We're gonna use my finger. Cut my finger, it always look. All right. And like, I don't know that I would really recommend doing the paint for this part. Like I might would recommend doing um, eyeshadow, cause it seems to work better. All right, and you're just gonna kind of pull some of that brown around it. That's gonna help you um, with the bruised look. Okay, and it does not have to be perfect because you're gonna add other colors on top. So next we're gonna do is we're going to add just a little bit of black, okay? Not a lot. And it's okay to touch the actual wax as well. It really is annoying me that that one spot won't stay down. I'm probably gonna like screw it all up. Now I gotta take the pen. All right, so once you get the black on, you're gonna do the same thing. You're just gonna kind of go around. Again, I really don't recommend using the paint, the face paint to do this part because it doesn't look as natural. Um, I really recommend using a palette if you have a like actual eyeshadow colors. All right, now we're gonna cause see if you notice like it's actually picking up on the edges. We finna pull out my eyeshadow because I like the way it look better. All right, so I'm gonna use my huge palette that has every color in the sun on it. And I'm gonna use my finger. I'm gonna get some purple. Some purple I'm gonna use. All right. And I'm just gonna kinda go around it because purple is great for bruising. All right, you see? Like, see how much more natural it looks? I just like the way it looks a lot better. All right, now we're gonna black this eye too whenever I get done. It looks so much more realistic in person compared to with this light, so just be patient, and I will show you guys how to make it look a little bit more real in person. 
Okay, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to black an eye. We might do like a bloody nose too. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, so we're going to get an eyeshadow brush. Just a fluffy one. It doesn't have to be a real big one. And we're going to get some of that purple. And you just want to start at the corner of your eye and just kind of pull down. And then you want to come this way a little bit too. Just like that. And same thing, you want to get like a little bit of black. And do the same thing. Just like that. And you can even pull it up if you want to, like right in there. Just like that. I wish the light would show like it's true color. It's all right. All right, and so we're gonna take some fake blood now. All right, again, fake blood is one of those things where more than likely it is not washable. Just FYI, do not be fooled by packaging. If it does not say washable on it, it probably ain't washable. So be careful, it will stain. Tommy, don't be hating on my hair. I like my hair. It's October. It's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. It's Halloween. So, I figured why not? I'll be short. Okay. Let's get this vampire blood out. Now, this particular kind is not washable. It makes me sad. But, we're going to make it work. Alright, this is like a gel. This actually came in that kit. So, I need a Q-tip, which I do not have right here, so stand by. Don't be hating on my pajama pants, okay? Okay, hold on. I'm kind of All right, Q-tips. You need Q-tips. All right. So, once you get your Q-tips... <laughs> well, thank you, Leanne. And I appreciate that, Tommy. I'm glad I have your support. All right, and approval, love it. So, we're gonna take the blood, we're gonna take a Q-tip, and you're just gonna put a little bit on it. You don't need a ton. Like I said, this is almost like a gel. <laughs> so you're gonna take this and you're gonna like put it on the inside of the wound first. And try to get all on the inside of it. And it's okay if you get a little too much, because if some falls out, that's a good thing. Like that's. That's a good thing. It's not a bad thing. Makes it look more real. And you want to make sure you drag it a little bit on that bottom one. Okay? On the bottom part of it. Alright, so then I'm going to take, once you get it on the inside, as you can see, that's what it looks like. I'm going to take some on my finger. In fact, I'm going to actually pour some. All right, so I'm going to use the top of this just to have something. I'm going to put some on there, and I'm going to get some old eyeliner. This is just some old that I had, and I'm going to put a little bit on there as well. And then I'm going to mix them together to make it a little bit darker, because I want some dark. All right, and so then I'm just going to mix those two together to make it look like a little bit of a darker blood. I know you guys can't see this part. I'm sorry. I feel like a chemist right now. Okay, so once you have some of that, I'm gonna put a little bit more of that around the edges. Of course, I got to make sure that I only got the dark on my thing. I don't have any of the red. There we go. Maybe I should use a Q-tip. It would go on better. All right, now use your Q-tip to kind of go around it. Actually, use your finger. Your finger works just as good, if not better, because it's more natural. All right, so I got some fake blood on there, so I'm just gonna kind of go around and dab it a little bit. Just like that. Just like that. Now, if you want some like actually falling out, you can make that happen too. You just want to kind of pull it down a little. like that. 
And so then, after I have the dark shading in, I'm going to kind of like pull it down. Like that. Why is it just coming up? There we go. This is like super ooey gooey. All right, we're gonna, I actually wanna put a little bit more in this corner too. Ooh, I feel it running. Oh, that's a weird feeling. I don't like it. Ah! Okay, hold on. I hate this fake vampire blood to death. All right, go on. All right, so there's you like a super nasty, bloody mess, all right? And like you can go around it a little bit if you wanna kinda bring some blood around. You can put some on your face if you want to. Just to kinda give it like a little bit of a real time look. That was a little too dark. Alright. You just don't want it to look too perfect because obviously that's not how wounds happen. Alright. And then if you wanted to, you could like squirt some of this in your nose and let it fall out. Heck, why not? Let's do it. <laughs> I look like a booger. <laughs> okay. Alright. And we're just going to like dab that like that. And if you wanted to add some, um, move that off my fingers. If you wanted to add a little bit of purple around your nose, you probably should have done that beforehand. And some brown. Purple and brown are your friend whenever you're going for gory looks. Just like that. Yay. Okay. Now, you can finish just like this if you wanted to. You can add a little, I'm gonna probably add a little bit more black and all in there just to make it a little bit more gory looking. Um, but this is pretty much how you get that basic wound. I know it took us a long time to get here, but that was because I was going step by step. You don't have to make it quite as involved. Um, that's your choice, so keep that in mind too. I'm actually going to make it look like that's been dried for a minute. Yeah, I like that better. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, there you guys go. That's what's up. If you guys have questions, feel free to ask. If you um, have suggestions or want to see some different looks and find something that you like, shoot it to me in a message or share it on my timeline. Whatever you want to do. I've got some cool suggestions. I just don't have the stuff to do them yet. So, yeah. But there's the look. That's, um, you know, a super easy, simple thing that you can do if you don't have... A Halloween outfit and you just kind of want something to get by all you got to do is throw on like an old t-shirt throw some blood on it make it dirty looking and you look like you've been beat up or cut been to the wrong side of the hood and like tried to buy drugs from the wrong person or something I don't know whatever but anyway well I hope you guys have a great day and thank you so much for tuning in and watching and I'm open to suggestions so if you find something that you want to see how to do let me know I am going to find some toilet paper and some glue and I'm going to show you guys how to make a similar like zombie looking like flesh rotting look as well if you're into that kind of thing so stay tuned for that I'm not gonna do it today 
because like obviously I've got my hands full today with probably trying to get the stuff off. But I'm gonna do another tutorial on how to use that because everybody has toilet paper, at least if you you should. You should have toilet paper. And most everybody has like Elmer's glue, because that's a pretty simple usually if you have kids you've got a glue somewhere. So I'm gonna do that too, but I hope you guys have a great day and thanks for tuning in.